The most abundant tissue type inside the body is connective tissue, because like its name suggests, connective tissue binds other tissues to each other. There's a lot of diversity in connective tissue, especially in comparison to the other tissue types that we talk about. So for example, when we were looking earlier at epithelial tissue, most of the differences that we saw were due to differences in the cell type that comprised the tissue. So squamous versus cuboidal versus columnar. But it's really difficult to classify connective tissues based upon the cell components because most connective tissues actually contain many different cell types. So instead, when we talk about connective tissues, we usually classify them based upon the composition of their matrix. Each one has its own unique blend of proteins and ions and water that give it its unique properties. Now those proteins usually come from the cells that are within the tissue. Now, because connective tissue is so diverse and so abundant, it's really difficult to come up with general functions to describe it. But if we wanted to try, we could say that connective tissues are responsible for physical protection as well as support. And that's because bone and cartilage are examples of supporting connective tissues. We could say connective tissue binds other structures together. Examples of that would be blood, areolar connective tissue, reticular connective tissue, as well as the dense irregular and regular connective tissues. The storage functions of connective tissue are mostly due to bone and blood and adipose tissue, and transport and immunity are mostly a function of the blood. The table on the left is a schematic diagram showing how different connective tissues can be classified. You can see that blood is sort of in a category all by itself because it's the only fluid connective tissue. The different types of bone and cartilage make up the supporting connective tissue category, and the areolar, reticular, and adipose tissue make up the loose connective tissues, and the dense, regular, and irregular connective tissue make up the dense connective tissue category. Now, we're going to see some examples of each of these as we move through the course, but one thing I want to point out is that you're only responsible for identifying tissues under a microscope within the lab portion of the course. And so we're only really going to briefly talk about the functions of these connective tissues. We'll go in a little bit more depth about bone and cartilage, and then go in a lot more depth when we get to the musculoskeletal unit coming up. So on this slide, we're looking at loose connective tissues, which are classified as a connective tissue proper. Loose connective tissues are loose because they tend to have relatively low cellularity and they have a lot of fluid in their matrix. That is to say, most of the tissue is made up of matrix. And the areolar connective tissue, uh, which we'll talk about more in the next half of the course, is typically associated with organs. Adipose tissue is also known as fat tissue. It's important for energy storage and metabolism. And the reticular connective tissue we we'll really won't discuss hardly at all in this course, except maybe briefly in the immune system. On the other hand, you'll see more examples of the dense connective tissues. These are dense because they have a relatively higher degree of cellularity in a densely packed matrix that doesn't have a lot of fluid. The major varieties are dense regular and dense irregular connective tissue. And the difference between these two is in the arrangement of the protein fibers in the matrix. In the dense regular tissues, the proteins are all arranged in the same direction, and that gives the tissue a lot of tensile strength, whereas in the irregular connective tissue, they're arranged non-linearly. The only fluid connective tissue is blood, which is classified that way because its matrix is actually about 45% water, and we have a whole unit coming up on blood in the next half of the course.